Ski Boy with your first alert weather. Welcome back. Just about 914. It's Thursday morning and I just feel so badly for those people yeah. in Florida and Georgia and the Carolinas. I mean, this is a really big storm and we yeah. were talking about Hurricane Katrina and I said, could it be as bad as Hurricane Katrina for them? Well, it's going to be a completely different animal, mm -hmm. but as it moves up towards the east coast of Florida, I mean, Hurricane Katrina, for the most part, impacted, I would say, about a 200 mile stretch. This has the potential to cover about 600, maybe even 800 miles of coastline mm -hmm. from the southern tip of Florida all the way up towards the Carolinas. So that in its own right makes this hurricane dangerous and not to mention the fact that it is a major hurricane, a category three, and now we can see it on the radar from the Miami radar system. You see moving over the Bahamas, moved over Nassau, and it continues to move to the northwest, and those rain bands are now starting to move onshore near Miami. Hurricane Matthew has winds of 125 miles per hour, so like I said, it is a Category 3 storm. It is moving to the northwest at 12 miles per hour, and the pressure is sitting at 940. Tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings are in place from the southern tip of Florida, just off by the Keys, and it goes. the hurricane warnings extend, the, the area you see shaded in red, extend all the way towards Charleston, South Carolina, so that just puts into perspective how large the impacts and how far reaching the impacts of this storm could potentially be. Now, the bad thing about Hurricane Matthew is it looks like we are going to see more intensification as we go throughout the next 12 hours or so. We are expecting Hurricane Matthew to regain Category 4 status. It's still unclear if it will actually make landfall, but nonetheless, that eye wall will be close enough to the coastline where Florida will see high winds and also storm surge. Then it will continue to parallel or skirt right along the coast. But notice the strength once we get into Friday afternoon, still 130. That still makes it a major hurricane. And then moving into Saturday morning, winds at 110. That still makes it a major hurricane. So as it moves towards Georgia and skirts along the coast, we could feasibly see a major hurricane making landfall all the way just north of Miami towards Savannah, Georgia. So that is something that is that we don't normally see. But then as we move towards this weekend, then we'll start to see Hurricane Matthew begin to weaken and then begin to finally wrap back around. So let's go ahead and go through the spaghetti model. So finally starting to get a lot of agreement in the short term, but then you can see some of the models kind of looping this back around, but I don't want this to worry you. As we go through next week, there's going to be a lot of blocking across the southeastern United States, so it doesn't look likely that we'll see anything in the central Gulf of Mexico. We will probably see Hurricane Matthew wrap around and go back to the south. But in terms of a threat to the Gulf of Mexico, don't worry about that right now. That does not look likely, but stay tuned to News 5 for the latest. Going through, our, going through the forecast of Hurricane Matthew, this shows a really good perspective of what I was talking about, of the eye wall potentially skirting right along the coast. So later tonight, maybe making landfall right around West Palm Beach or maybe even Melbourne, Florida. But then that eye wall, if that stays right along the coast, you'll get all of that surge continuously wrapping, along, wrapping around the northern portion of this storm. So that'll act as almost the right front that we normally see. And then that continues to move towards Georgia. And then we won't finally see it move potentially offshore until we get to this weekend. So the effects will be very far reaching. But make sure, like I said, you stay tuned to News 5 for all the latest with Hurricane Matthew. Looking outside, moving closer to home, the Alpha Insurance Skycam finally starting to see that cloud deck that we had earlier starting to kind of fade away. And that'll allow temperatures to finally start warming up. Sitting at 71 degrees in Mobile, 76 degrees in Gulf Shores. Your first forecast as we go throughout the day, nice and quiet throughout the first half of this morning, but temperatures will climb relatively quickly. They'll be into the mid 80s by your lunchtime. Might not be the best day to eat lunch outside. Going to be a little hot nonetheless, but the extended outlook will see those temperatures into the mid to upper 80s as we make our way into Saturday. And then a slight cold front comes in on your Sunday and that'll return some fall like air.